this is a, a little bit out of stuff that you're usually talking about. So I, I just thought I'd get your take on it. Are you familiar with uh, PJ Washington and Brittany Rainier? No. Oh, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's that basketball and the uh, duped him for the baby and then took all the money. That's it. Hooray to the hoe. Yeah, 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 hooray to the hoe. That's what them basketball playing niggas get them niggas really some tricks. Yeah, the nigga be in and out them strip club throwing, they be in and out them strip club throwing the money. Say, man, uh, hooray to the hoe. Yeah, yeah, she ain't done nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, if you catch a sucker down bad, that's how you do a sucker. A, a hoe won't even do a man like that. He had to been a sucker. A hoe won't do a man like that. A hoe ain't gonna do no real nigga like that. But a hoe gonna handle a sucker. So who raid to the hoe? Yeah, I love that kind of shit. Boy, I love to see the hoe win over a nigga. You don't feel it's a little excessive? Because... No, uh-uh. No, uh-uh. Thousands of dollars in child support? No, I done aborted a baby before. So now a bitch running off with the baby and getting the money, uh, he still got rights to the baby, don't he? I'm sure he does. Yeah, just keep dribbling. Hey, listen, just details. keep dribbling the basketball, nigga. You already knew you had a hoe when you went to fucking with that hoe. You already know what kind of hoe this was when you put the baby in her. Every nigga know if you lay down with dog with a dog, you go get up with fleas. So that's why the dogs be in the backyard. So no, nah, man, she no, nah, man, she ain't done nothing wrong. The value of man is at an all time low in society, especially for black men. So. She already know he weak for pussy. She already know when she was pregnant, he was tricking at the strip club. That's what ball players do. So she just secured the bag for her and her baby. She ain't done nothing wrong. And a nigga like me will come along with a little bit of nothing and go to fucking on her and be King Dangalang over there. See, that's how that go. Basketball playing nigga always lose his bitch to a nigga like me. I ain't got too much to offer, but just good times and good feelings. What do you say about the people who are mad and that the women in general get away with stuff that men would never get away with? Yeah, they do. They got a pussy. Why, why do you want to get away with what a woman get away with? Sometimes she got to lay on her back to get on her feet. So now, why, you wanna, why do men want to get away with what a woman get away with? You know how many men get to walk away from the baby and go out and have fun and keep all this money? You know how many guys get to do that? So, hey, finally a woman got smart. Finally a woman got smart. And she bragging about it. Oh, I can always get another. She can buy a nigga like me. And it's going to be, she looks so good. There's plenty of niggas just hanging around her just to suck the pussy and babysit. And she got money. Oh, yeah, man, she, she, she set the example for how to handle them niggas. Them ball playing niggas got reputations as being unfaithful. They don't stay married long. So you get what you can get, and you get out of it. Do all of them like that. LeVar Ball is the smartest nigga teaching his son. Just fuck them hoes, nigga. Don't be trying to fall in love. That's what LeVar Ball told his boy. Just fuck on them bitches, nigga. His mama told him to do that shit, and look what happened listening to mama. Yeah, he should have just been fucking, nigga. Yeah, stupid ass, nigga. Do you think that, you know, this is going to set an example for people to, to continue doing this? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, what, it's a great example to set. I wouldn't be mad at my daughter if she tricked a rich basketball playing nigga, got a baby, had the baby, divorced him, and got $300,000 a month. Yeah, I want all my daughters to do that. Yeah, I want my sister to do it. Yeah, no, fuck them niggas, especially a ball playing nigga. Them niggas don't be worth shit seven years down the road. None of them. What about your son, though? What if this happens to your son? You say, man, he know better. He, I raised him to be a sorry motherfucker. Yeah, nigga, we don't take care of no babies, nigga. Yeah, you know, hell no. I raised my boy to be a sorry motherfucker. Make babies and leave. So, yeah, I'm going to be highly disappointed if, if it happened to him. Because, yeah, I teach him to just make babies everywhere. And don't stay around for none of them. Do like granddad and them did. Go overseas, join the military, and fucking have babies in Japan and leave them babies over there. I swear to God, I teach him that. Granddaddy and them did it. My granddaddy got two babies in, in, in Vietnam, or uh, got a baby in Mexico, uh, and then got another one in Longview. But we act like the one in Longview ain't here, but we know it's here.
So yeah, nigga, we we I want my kid to be like granddaddy and them. Strong, strong man. Babies every goddamn well.